Welcome to Matt Riley Bakes. Today's recipe isn't a recipe, it's a technique. I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful eight plat loaf. For the dough recipe, check out my perfect white bread video that I did on YouTube previously. Let's get cracking with the platting. So your dough should have fully risen by now. Lightly flour your work surface, turn your dough out. You're gonna to wanna to knock the air out of it, chop it into eight. So you're going to need to now roll your dough into eight strands. I find it best to start in the middle and work your hands out. That way you get a pretty even roll. Don't worry if they're not exactly even, um, you can always trim off the ends and then you'll have tiny little baguettes left over. So now you've got your eight strands, it's time for the pattern. It's pretty simple, it is eight under seven over one, eight over five, two under three over eight, one over four, seven under six over one, and then repeat stages two to five until you finish. If you haven't got that, I've written it all down below, plus I'm gonna show you. Lay all your strands out in a fan shape, and you're going to want to attach them all at one end. So just push the dough together. It's not very pretty this bit, but it's got to be done. Once you've got your doughy octopus in place, be sure they're stuck together, and then you want to tuck that end under. It's time to start plaiting. So now you number your strands off, number one to number eight. Whichever order you put them in from now on, they're still going to be number one is here and number eight is here. So the first move is eight under seven over one. You want to keep it quite tight out there. So this is now number one and this is now number eight. Now you put number eight over number five, squeeze it in there, move them around as much as you need to, keep it quite tight out there. And now it's number two, which is now here, under three and over eight. Now number one over number four, so two, three, four, and seven under six and over one. So you go, that's the five steps. Now you've got to do number steps number two to five until you're finished. So eight over five. Two, under three, over eight. It looks a bit of a mess at this point. Keep going, it's gonna be worth it. When you get to the end and you've got some loose strands but not enough to carry on plaiting, do what you did at the beginning, squash them all together and tuck them under and neaten it up. You're also going to want to tuck under the other end again. Make sure it all looks good. When you're happy with your plait, lightly flour a baking tray, pop it on there, cover it in cling film and leave it to proof for now. So when your loaf has had its second proof for an hour, I'll give it an egg wash and it's into the oven at 220 for 15 minutes, then reduce it down to 190 for further 30 minutes. So there we go, my tutorial on how to make an eight plat loaf. Take your time and it should work out fine. Hope you enjoy making it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Matt Riley Bakes.